G'day, and welcome to the Complete Barry's Guide to Low Budget Film. You're Dave Bishop. I'm Dave Bishop. And I'm Crob Edmund. Should we give them some explanation of your name? No. Suit yourself. Like most of our generation, I'm Crob I'm not and your generation. I'm Gen X, man. Yeah, I'm Gen Y. I am so old. Yes, you are. <laughs> like most of Gen X and Gen Y, and whatever you call the generation that came before, and whatever you call the generation that came after, Crob and I spent a great deal of our youth in here, the cinema. Yes, film is the new theatre. Not to say there's anything wrong with the old theatre. As long as there's nudity. Even when there's not. The point is that film is integral to our modern culture. In fact, you could argue the only thing more integral these days is television. But television's evil. Oh, shut up. No, he's right. Television's great. No, seriously, it's great. <coughs> Such high quality programming. <coughs> Even the reality. <coughs> I feel dirty. But my chubby friend here has a point. Oh yeah, and you're Michelangelo's, David. Yeah, no I'm not. But the point about film being the cornerstone of modern society is a good one. In fact, I believe more Aussie kids of my generation learned about good and evil from Star Wars than from the Bible. From the what? You know, old book, leather cover, good against vampires. Neither one. We all love a good movie, and a fair few of us would love to be in one. I know I would. So do I, and you have. That's true. Crob here and his sister Miranda wrote, directed, produced and shot their own feature film right here in the beautiful surrounds of the University of Western Australia. It was called The Course and Crob here starred in it. Oh stop, you're embarrassing me. No I'm not. No you're not. And the amazing thing is, they did it for virtually nothing in terms of cold, hard cash. People will tell you you can't make a feature film for less than a million dollars. In the US, people will tell you you can't make a feature film for less than three million. But I think that just inspires the truly independent spirits to find a way to make something for nothing. And every now and then, they break the big time, big time. The Blair Witch Project was made for $35,000 US and made $248 million worldwide, putting it in the Guinness Book of Records for the highest profit to cost ratio of a motion picture ever. Clerks, or clerks as some people in England and Australia call it, some wankerish people. Oi. Well, the point is, it's clerks. Clerks. Whatever. It was made for twenty-seven and a half thousand dollars that Kevin Smith raised by selling most of his comic book collection. And as a comic book fan, I can tell you that must have hurt bad. But he also maxed out ten credit cards to their two thousand dollar limits, dipped into his college fund, and spent the insurance money that he got for a car that he and Jason Mewes, aka Jay, lost in a flood. And the film went on to make three point one million, despite never playing on more than. 100 screens at the same time. Evil Dead was made for $375,000. It took Sam Raimi four years to make, and it was turned down by just about every distributor in the US. Finally, a European company picked it up, and it went on to gross $2.4 million on initial release, and who knows how much more on TV, video, and DVD. Perhaps ten times that amount. Swingers had a total budget of 250 grand US and grossed 6.5 million in theatres. And again, I reckon it must have done 10 times that on DVD. The film created its own sayings like, Your money, baby. That's so money. And Vegas, baby. Vegas. And it starred John Favreau. Who also directed Iron Man. How awesome was Iron Man? How awesome was Iron Man? Have you Man? seen it? It's, it's awesome. Awesome. So awesome. 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 Awesome film. Awesome. 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 Anyway, awesome. it starred John Favreau, who also directed Iron Man. Awesome film. It's family. not. Doug Lyman, who directed the Bourne Ultimatum. And Vince Vaughn, who is Vince Vaughn. He was good in Wedding Crash. Oh, don't get me wrong, he's great when he does his thing. He was unbelievable in Made, which I still think is one of the most underrated films of all time. You should check it out. It was also directed by John Favreau, who also directed mm -hmm. Iron Man. John, awesome Favreau. Awesome Favreau. Awesome Iron Man Favreau. Awesome. John, Iron Man Favreau. But I digress. That's not your only annoying habit. <laughs> all right. Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song was made for $50,000 by Melvin Van Peebles, Mario Van Peebles' father. It grossed $10 million and was widely credited with inventing the black exploitation genre. It has possibly one of the best endings in film history. Everyone in the audience was expecting Sweetback to die, because up until then, that's what happened to black men on the run and things were looking bad. Sweetback's on the run, and the LA police have set hunting dogs on him. But he makes it to the Rio Grande, kills the dogs, and then on the screen it says, Watch out. A badass nigger's coming to collect some dues. Night of the Living Dead by the living legend George A. Romero was made for 114000 and after a decade of theatrical releases has grossed $30 million. And in 1999, the Library of Congress entered it into the National Film Registry because of its cultural and historical significance. The course was made for virtually no cold hard cash and has made virtually no cold hard cash. You'll get there, buddy. Don't patronise me. 
You sucked, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I sucked in a feature film. What have you sucked in? Five minutes on All Saints and two minutes on Home and Away. And you sucked. And I sucked. But the point is that some of the best films get made are the films that get made for virtually nothing. Perhaps because it takes such a sheer force of will by the filmmakers to get them up in the first place. Or perhaps because in order to make a film with virtually no support, the filmmakers have to create something truly innovative or a story that overcomes the budgetary constraints. But some of the best films that get made are the films that get made for Nix. The good news is it's becoming more and more possible to make a good looking film on next to no budget. You can basically get professional standard editing software that runs on a home computer. An HD or high definition videotape is fast becoming a viable alternative to shooting on 35mm. They shot Miami Vice on HD. They shot Miami Vice, they shot uh, Star Wars Episodes 1, 2 and 3, Superman Returns, Sin City, 300, Apocalypto and Once Upon a Time in Mexico. You're a nerd. You're a loser. <laughs> Touché. We'll show you everything you need to know to be able to make a film if you are passionate and crazy enough to want to do that. From story and scripting right through to production, editing and completion. We'll show you the principles of distribution and finance, although be warned, those two are the hardest things you will ever try to get in this world. I'm talking as hard as trying to find the Lost Ark, the Holy Grail, the Crystal Skulls. What was Innie looking for in the Temple of Doom? Uh, the Sacred Stones. The, the Glowing Stones. It's going to be as hard as finding any and all of them, but we'll show you how to do it. We'll also cover lighting, camera, sound. Acting, directing, and not to mention... Catering. catering. If you don't laugh, you'd be surprised how important catering is. You've got to feed the crew, especially if they're doing your favours. You've got to feed the crew. So, if you're still with us and still crazy enough to want to make your own low-budget feature, come with us on step one of the journey, story and script.